Good morning, everyone. My name is Doran Johnson, field agronomist for Pioneer out of Southeast Nebraska. It's the morning of April 19th. I just wanted to give a few comments regarding corn and soybean burn down. If you were to drive by this field today, it's gonna to be planted to corn, but you really wouldn't see much for weed pressure out here. I would caution that as you walk out here, you do see a lot of mare's tail, you do see a lot of penny crest. That's only gonna to continue to get worse as it starts to get warmer. I've had a lot of questions, what do I spray, when do I spray, and do I need to wait? So when focusing on the acres that are gonna be going to soybeans, if you're going out there with your pre-emergent residual product, that usually does not have enough burn down in it to take care of that mare's tail. So we wanna either put 2,4-D or dicamba with that. If we're going to go out there with 2,4-D, basically 10 and a half ounces, we need to wait about a week. We Then we can go up to um, 21 ounces with that 6-pound 2,4-D. We're going to need to stay out of the field for about two weeks. But at this point in time, go ahead and tank mix that with your pre-emergence residual products. If we've got Extend out there, wonderful technology, we can use products like Fexapan, Ingenia, or Extendamax. Basically, we can use good rates of those products to really clean that field up through planting time. So that should really take care of those things on the Extend side. Now, if we're going to corn, I'm not quite as concerned. Obviously, there's more products on the backside that can help us take care of things. Um, basically, we can go out there with 2,4-D, six pound, pint rate. We're gonna need to wait about a week. We can go out there with some dicamvas, such as Clarity, those things. Um, what I would recommend is putting that on before planting or go ahead and letting that seed emerge, basically, and then applying that after planting. Keep in mind, what we don't want to do is basically touch that seed with dicamba, so make sure we're closing the furrow, and then we don't want that first drink for that seed to be some type of dicamba product. Um, I've had other questions on, you know, using Sharpen, Metribuzin, Germoxone, because those don't have quite as long plant intervals. You know, those are okay products, but at this point in time, I would still recommend using um, the 2,4-D or the dicambas that work really well still in place of those other products where we might only get marginal control and they are a little bit a uh, little bit more pricey. So that's all I've got for today. Appreciate your time. Have a safe and productive day. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.